Good morning guys, Mark here. Well, welcome to a video review today on the Triumph Tiger Explorer 1200. Now this is a bike that I've been dying to test ride um, for a few years now. It came out in 2012, this bike. And um, this just basically just belongs to a friend of mine. So um, he said, oh, why don't you take it out? And obviously we've got the new model coming out in just a few months. And uh, the motorcycle news review of the new model is supposed to be even better than this one. And this, this model has uh, you know, been raved about worldwide. It's, it's a five-star motorbike if you read all the reviews. So I just thought, well, I'd better test ride this one before the new one comes out. Um, as you all know, I've got a 2010 Multistrada, so I tend to always pitch everything against that one. But uh, this is a bike that I just really wanted to test. You know, I've ridden the 800 version of this, which is an absolute peach. And um, I thought it was about time I test rode this one. So say, as you can see, it is a very good looking bike, um, very muscular looking, looks pretty huge to be honest. Um, a few quick specs on it. It's, um, it's uh, weight is wet around 255 kilos so it is pretty weighty but I can tell you that that weight pretty much disappears once you're on the move. Um, 135 engine horsepower which translates to something like about 110 at the rear wheel. Um, heaps and heaps of torque that's what I'm really looking forward to test on this engine is the smoothness and the torque it's supposed to be awesome from low, low, low end. Um, you know this one's specced up with the heated seat um, it's got lovely shaft drive, so no worries about chain. Um, this has got two-stage adjustable seat, which is on the lowest position. Heated grips, cruise control. Um, it's got all your bells and whistles, ABS. So, um, yeah, looks fantastic, I think you'll agree. Um, so let's get on it and do my usual thing of riding for 15 minutes or so and running through every part of the bike. Uh, just for your information, we're here in the south of England, in the county of Dorset. And um, we're in England wi winter at the moment, it's mid-February, but it's not too cold today, it's about 10 degrees C, 50 Fahrenheit, so it's a good day to ride. Roads are a bit slippery, so I'll have to watch out, there's a new front tyre on this as well. So, when you sit on this bike, um, it is a little bit of a heave off the side stand, you can notice that weight, but once you're on it, it feels beautiful, it's big, it feels beautifully built, very sturdy, very tough, really big tank, very commanding position. I'm only 5'7 tall, weighing at 70 kilos. The seat's in its lowest position and I'm nearly flat-footed, so don't worry if um, you know, you're know you not that, that tall, it's uh, not a problem. The, the suspension feels really plush, all the controls are nicely to hand, cruise control's nice to use, kill switch info, um, gives you all your air temperature and whatnot. Um, really, really beautifully light laid out. Screen is adjustable. That feels nice and big. We'll test all that in a minute. But yeah, first impressions feels really, really comfortable. You sit right down into the bike, so um, that's good. So um, let's, let's start her up and see how we go. Yeah, I'm liking that speedo and all the dash and all the info. That's nice and easy to read. So yeah, this is a 1200cc triple engine, so it's got that characterful tripleness. Um, compared to my Multistrada, it's going to be a whole lot smoother. Hydraulic clutch with a moderate sort of pull on it, so that's nice. So this has got the standard exhaust on it, but it sounds really nice. It's got a nice bark to it. So super smooth pulling away. Heaps of power at the low end. You know, 3,000 revs, it's just smooth as silk. You can feel that shaft drive at the back, it's lovely. So straight away, um, the screen's nice, it's deflecting the wind right up over my head. That feels good. Oh, this engine is an absolute peach. Beautifully smooth. Um, I owned an FJR 1300 a few years ago, and it's kind of a bit like that, you know. Very, very mellow, very relaxing. Um, and I'm sure it's got lots of power when we open it up shortly. All the controls are nice to hand, so you don't have to stretch for any of the uh, indicators or anything. Makes a lovely triumph growl when you blip the throttle. Throttle action is very light, very nice. Ride by wire. So 
So heaps of power from the low end. Wow. Just grunts beautifully. Very smooth. So comparing it to my Multistrada 1200, which bangs and clatters and thumps at low revs, this thing is just smooth as silk. And straight away, look, I'm in top gear, sixth gear. Slow it right down. 45 miles an hour. There's absolutely no jerkiness in the throttle, no surging. It's perfectly fueled. Absolutely a joy to ride. So we're in top gear, 50 mile an hour, wide open throttle, and whoa, off she goes. Loads of grunt and torque. That's very impressive. Very, very good. The suspension is, um, this is not your semi-active, obviously. This is why this bike is very competitively priced. I mean, these are about 11,500 English pounds at the moment. Obviously, you've got the new model coming out in a few months with the active suspension that's a lot more. But the good thing with the Triumph is it's always been about £2,000 cheaper than the, uh, the GS and the Multistrada and all the rest, really. So it's very competitively priced. So, oh, this, this engine is a joy. It's just so smooth. Um, we'll get past this van in a minute, hopefully. You know, you could almost leave it like an automatic in top gear. Top gear wide open, wow. Absolutely flies. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, this engine is five stars from me. Really nice. It's so relaxing. So let's talk about the weight. It's a big bike, 255 kilos. Um, but so once you're moving, you know, it's, it's chuckable. Um, the weight could sometimes be an advantage because it makes the bike feel very um, planted and safe and sure-footed. And this really does feel like sure-footed. The suspension is nice and plush. Yeah, that's really beautiful. This is a very bumpy road and I'm not getting jolted at all. Let's try the brakes out. Obviously, we've got ABS in these wet conditions. Front brake, yeah, very strong. I think the new model is going to be coming out with Brembo monoblocks, so um, that should be amazing. Back brake, yeah, that's fine. Mirrors, I'm not expecting them to be vibrating at all, and yep, yeah, true, they are totally clear. Perfect view of the road behind me. So again, we're in sixth gear. That's what this bike likes. And you just ride the, the wave of torque from low end. Absolutely fabulous. Open her up. Wow, just fires off. So it's got everything on it, this bike. Heated grips, cruise control, ABS. Um, the seat is very, very comfortable. I do like Triumph seats. I tried the 800 a while back and that was really nice. Right, full brakes, yeah, they're strong. ABS just cut in slightly then on the wet. So we're first gear, loads of power. Yeah, you are gonna love this engine. It really grunts. Um, it feels more torquey and powerful uh, from about three to five than my Multistrada. And I think if you look at the dyno curves, it does produce more power than any, any of the competition up to about 6,000 revs. See, it's very, very smooth. There's a tiny bit of gruffness, a bit of sort of rawness to it at sort of 5,000, but really that's all part of the character of it. But you know, it's 95% smooth. It's beautiful. So the hydraulic clutch is immaculate as well. So I say they sold hundreds of these bikes worldwide and uh, I think most owners are ever so happy with them. So if you're in the market for a litre plus adventure tourer, this is definitely a contender. Second hand here in the UK, they're going for around about £8,000 or thereabouts for a, one that's a few years old now. I say we've got the new one coming out in a few months which is slightly breathed on engine Euro 4, um, slightly more power, 
and the electronic suspension, uh, different dash, so that, and it's supposed to be even better than this, so I'd look forward to riding that one. So. Yeah, I could see me doing hundreds of miles on this bike. It really is um, lovely. All right, we'll give it a bit of power in a minute and see what the top end's like. Second gear at the moment. Here we go, full power, full throttle. Yeah, I'd say that's got about 110, 115 at the rear wheel. It feels more powerful than the GS LC 1200, um, just by a small margin. But yeah, that's very impressive. Not as powerful as my Multistrada. That my Multistrada's got about 135 at the rear wheel, but this is just so much grunt and torque at the low end. It's beautiful. All right, what else should we talk about? Oh yeah, the gearbox. <laughs> It is perfect, just like the 800 gearbox Tiger 800. It just snicks up and down with minimum effort. You know, gearbox is very important. It gets look, overlooked quite often. It's as easily as nice as a Suzuki gearbox. So this, yeah, this thing chucks around. You can chuck this around. It's a big bike, but today it is a very windy day today. It's gusting 30 miles an hour, and the bike is, isn't moving. <laughs> It's just solid, completely planted, and especially across here now. Whoa, it's really windy. So let's slow this right down into top gear because I, as you all probably know, I'm a great fan of bikes that fuel nicely in top gear for just cruising along slowly. Slow this right down. Top gear still, 40 miles an hour, still no stut stuttering or juddering. Here we go. 35, 2,000 revs. Wow, that is unbelievably nice. There you go. 30 mile an hour top gear, 1,500 revs, smooth as silk. Open her up, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, that's, that's lovely, really nice. What's not to like about this bike? It's definitely getting the thumbs up from me. Um, so, um, you know, the new model's coming out, which is pretty much the same engine. It's just got a few more tweaks. Um, so Motorcycle News this week really rave about it. Um, I, I've been looking forward to ride that to see how much better it is than this. This is definitely a bike that I would one day consider swapping my Multistrada for, just for a different style of riding. You know, the Multistrada is an insane bike. You know, it's not subtle, it's not mellow, it's just very raw and raucous. This is a, a much more relaxed bike, should you say, more of a gentlemanly bike. Um, but it's still, you know, it's got loads of power to make you smile when you open it up. So, nice view here, out over the Dorset countryside. It's supposed to be raining today, actually, but it's not too bad. So I say, if you're in this sort of market for one of these bikes, you look, you're going to look at the, G, the GS BMW, the XR BMW, which is the most craziest bike out there. Definitely the new Multistrada, um, the new DVT model is very smooth. This one, you've got the Kawasaki Versus as well, which is very well priced. You get to do that one. But as I say, this is lovely, really, really nice. So I'd normally stop up here on my usual route, but I'm going to go on a bit further because I'm enjoying this. So we're in third gear now. Let's give it some throttle. Yeah, above 6,000, it really kind of snarls and takes off. Loads of character, loads of power, really nice. The screen's very good. Um, I can um, I put this bike on the centre stand earlier on, and it wasn't difficult at all. And bear in mind, I'm only 5'7", 70 kilos, so they've um, obviously done the centre stand well. But no, this is a lovely bike. It's just a dream. Let's try to cruise out. There we go. Oh. 
resume. There we go. Hands free. Yeah, that works a treat. And you can speed it up and slow it down. Yeah, that's lovely. This is what I like on a touring motorbike like this, that you can just stick it at 60 and just relax and it just cruises along. The fueling's perfect on it. It's super smooth. Because, you know, you, 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 you'll be doing touring on this into Europe or around America, wherever you're going, going through villages and that, and it's just nice to cruise and enjoy the scenery. And the bike just does it for you and it's effortless. It's just lovely. Um, they do this bike with handguards, which I would always have. I think these adventure bikes don't look right without the handguards here. Um, so I definitely get them. And in the new model, you've got the um, XR, XRX, XRT, which is the road. And then the, uh, the XC is the off-road spoked version ones. But no, I'm really pleased I demo rode this bike. It's um, definitely on my list of possible bikes to get next. It's just nice to ride, it's just relaxing, it feels big, planted, smooth, um, it doesn't have the whistle of the 800, um, but it's still got loads of nice character, so maybe the whistle is something you like, maybe you don't like it, something to bear in mind. I say, you really, you've got to love big engines, they're so relaxing to ride. So chucking it through the bends, it's just a joy. Yeah, so I've been on this bike now for about an hour since I picked it up. And um, my, uh, my, my backside is comfortable still, so we can give the seat the thumbs up. Yeah, you just ride that low end, it's just 4,000 revs, change gear, does it all again, loads of grunt. Yeah, the suspension is really good, because this road is really bumpy, so um, it's plush and controlled, it's nice. Obviously Triumph do a whole heap of um, extras for these saddle, uh, you know, uh, panniers, top case, everything. So, um, if you go on their website, you can fully spec out your bike. It's just that beautiful low end of the engine. That's where this engine has been tuned to give it most of its power. It, you know, it's a low revving bike. Whereas the XR is a bit more manic. The BMW XI's got 160 odd horsepower at the rear wheel with you know that top end rush equivalent to a superbike. This is a lot more gentlemanly if you like. Yeah this is great. Let's take the revs down again. Two and a half thousand revs. Open her up and it pulls. Yeah I find that quite addictive that low end pull. Yeah, so yeah, no complaints with the dash there. It's got everything you need, fuel gauge, temperature, time. Yeah, it's got all your average miles to the gallon, average speed. Well, there we go. I like that a lot. So I thought I'd find the weight a bit more of an issue, but um, I could live with this quite easily. There we go. What do you think about that then, guys? Hmm. Very nice. So let's have a, a final walk round, a debrief, and some final thoughts. So I, I do like all of this bit here. It looks very beefy and aggressive. Um, you know, Obviously, standard issue these days, the uh, the beak. Uh, this bike was clean when I took it out. I have to wash it. So, yeah, um, 
what we got there. I think it's a one one ten front tire, one fifty rear. It's got the Triumph engine bars on it. Um, adjustable suspension. Obviously, it's not electronic suspension. Yeah, beautiful Triumph traction control. No, sorry, I don't think it's got traction control. I mean, um, uh, shaft drive, sorry. Heated seat, that was on when I picked it up. That was really warm. I think Triumph done an excellent, they, they keep all the, the hoses and the wires tucked away. So there's nothing, it's just the engine. It's a really, you know, really, really sort of nice touch that. But I love all this, it's really good. No, that's a thumbs up bike, guys. So there we go. Um, if you like this video, please hit the uh, thumbs up button. Feel free to subscribe. Please feel free to add as many questions as you like. I enjoy answering your questions. And um, if you've got one of these, post your comments up because other people like to read comments from other, other owners. Um, yeah, so um, I think I'll definitely be taking out the, uh, the new one in the next few months when uh, that's out. But no, this is a five-star motorbike. Can't really fault it. I mean, the the one negative that people do talk about it is is the weight of it. Um, I didn't really find that an issue, to be honest. I've owned Pan Europeans before and FJR 13s, and they're much heavier than this. Um, so I'm pushing it off the side stand now. Yeah, it requires a bit of effort, but it's not too bad. Um, and I mean, you know, pushing it around, you've just got to be careful of the weight, but it's not too bad at all. So, and. Um, you say you hop on it and you sort of sit right into it. It's lovely. Really, really nice, guys. So there we go. I'm going to say bye to you all. Um, I will catch you again on my next video review. So as I say, uh, catch you soon and keep the comments coming. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.